things is that it has the same soundtrack I'm pretty sure some of the noise you know like clicking on shit and stuff like the options menu as the edge of time DS thing at first I didn't know how to like get suits and stuff so I only had five but now I got um, Scarlet Spider, Big Time, and Flipside. Though I'm only using Big Time and Scarlet Spider right now. And I need to continue doing brush and stuff. And Arcade? That's really fun. So, recently I actually started doing it. Because when I first started, I got like through round one. And then the second part I didn't get through because I wasn't the best at dodging and shit yet. Because this was at like the beginning of the game. So, yeah. There's that now. I'm on like number seven right now where you're not allowed to be hit more than seven times. Right now I'm just using a tactic with the task force people that have the bombs and are on the gliders letting them knock down the people and just pressing O to web them up when they get knocked down and then when it's like more than one task force on a glider I take one down and try and get the other guy to blow him up before he gets back on his glider so I can do the O thing on him it doesn't work all the time Um, boss fights. I honestly preferred them in this game over PS4. They just didn't seem that creative in PS4. Carnage, Electro, and Green Goblin. They weren't too hard, but their boss fights were awesome. Shocker was meh. He was okay. Nothing really wrong with his boss fight, but others were definitely better. Um... What else? Black Cat. I'm probably going to replay her boss fight as one of my newer characters that I'm going to get. Newer suits. And see if she's still as frustrating. Because she kept attacking you and teleporting from across the map when you tried to heal. Kingpin. It was pretty easy. First time I didn't really know what I was doing with the armor guys. So... It didn't work out as well. But I deleted that video and I started again and didn't get hit once, pretty sure, while using Scarlet Spider. I really love the suit damage in this game. Spider Man PS4 did not want to do that. I, th I thought the game was going to be awesome because I was like, oh, suit damage. But no, it, it just. Ended up being a skin called Damage Suit. During the Kingpin fight in the beginning of the game. Um, Craven's boss fight. I'm probably going to replay, replay that one too. Because I kept getting hit by the knife. And stuff. And I didn't realize that was making. Just making. You know the other people. Or I might just like fight him again as somebody else. I think I did just fine in that one. ending with Donald Mankin actually being chameleon it means he probably killed him probably killed Donald Mankin I wouldn't doubt it especially since he was kind of off he actually wanted to help Harry but in the movie he didn't Harry's kind of less aggressive in this game anyway but he's still aggressive for sure I don't have the full boss fight for Harry because I lost the first time. I beat him the second time. But I lost. You know, like slamming him through buildings and slamming him into stuff and punching him repeatedly. That that part of the boss fight. Well, that. When I was doing that. Um, I eventually lost because I was low health and didn't get to heal. But... 
it did put us on the rooftop anyway, and half of his health taken away, so the boss fight's like two minutes. Though we'll probably replay it as someone else now. So you get to see the full boss fight, maybe. Maybe. Um... I'm trying to think of the other stuff I want to talk about. Ooh, Iguana. It was really cool to see Iguana. I don't think he's in the first one, but the first one I've only played on DS, so... He probably is. They just didn't want to put him in there. Because they just put, like, main plot point devices, I bet. Like, Lizard, Scorpion. And the Smythe robots, I remember fighting those as boss battles, but I don't remember Iguana. I really like Iguana in the comics, so it was cool to see him. Didn't know who the Piranha guy was, though. Um. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit was not very good. I like it in the movie. It's kind of bland in this. Doesn't really look like the suit. Definitely prefer it in the actual movie Because in the movie versions I like both of them and I can't pick which one's better But in this way I could definitely say the amazing spider-man one suit is better One of the annoying things is having to go back to your house to change though It's not that big of a deal, but Like there's a closet there with all the Spider-Man's clothing. And it's just wide open. The door is wide open. Because you can just leave your room and go talk to Aunt May and stuff. And we're supposed to believe that Aunt May doesn't know he's Spider-Man. Oh, and before I got the game, there was so many recommendations. Obviously, I didn't watch them. But they were trying to theorize why Gwen wasn't in the game. Even though Andrew or Peter Parker, it's not the actual Andrew Garfield actor voicing him. But anyway, when you go to save Max Dillon from those armed thugs at our Oscorp, he mentions that Gwen still works there. Of course, we don't see her. We see Max Dillon and like five random people, but... Point still stands. Obviously, she's in the game somewhere. Spider-Man doesn't mention that she's dead. So, it's obviously later on. The switcheroo was kind of weird, but I kind of preferred it. Like, Harry with yellow hair in the beginning and then brown later. Kind of cool. But yeah, I think it's a good game. Oh, swinging. A lot of people complained about swinging. PS4 definitely has way better swinging, but this one still has great swinging. People just say it's awful, but it's realistic. They have the, they have it so you can only use buildings or ceilings and stuff. And Spider-Man even mentions that. He says randomly while you're swinging around, sometimes I want to move to Hawaii, but then there would be no buildings to swing on. So yeah, that's why. And some of the swinging's really cool, like the Tobey Maguire thing you can buy, where you just, the thing that Tobey did in like two of the movies where he just like rockets forward. I don't think Andrew did it in his movies. And there's the thing where you can just slide your hand while running on the wall just like touch the wall I thought that was pretty sweet and if you run backwards on a building you're just sliding and I really like that too but yeah I really enjoyed this game and PS4 definitely has like some better mechanics but honestly I think I like this game better even if the combat isn't the best I still like this game better Though, graphics definitely aren't the best. Some of the suits look really good, though.